The Bible says it this way, that all things work together for my good. telling you what's about to take place in the earth for you is about to be big if god said that it is so then it is hallelujah listen stand strong in the lord this is the time not to give up That's the right. bible declares he told joshua he said be courageous God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, thank you, God, thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I bless you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, oh, I give you glory, I give you praise on today, God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, oh, somebody ought to decree on tonight, hallelujah, I will see yes. a victory yes, in the name of it. Jesus. I will see a victory yeah, on tonight. Hallelujah. Yes. In the name of Jesus. As we're yes. about to exit out of yes. the year of vision. I yes. decree and I declare. I will see a victory. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the King. I give honor tonight to whom all honor is due. I thank God. Hallelujah. For my place in time on tonight. Amen. To the honorable of Apostle, amen, Greg McCurry yes. and Pastor Teresa McCurry and the New Beginning Ministries. Hallelujah. Yes. God bless you. And the New Beginnings Ministry Fellowship International. Yes. God bless you all on tonight. Amen. I thank God, amen, for the service so far. Hallelujah. If you would get your Bibles and go with me to the book of Ecclesiastes, amen, right about chapter 3, amen, we're going to read verses 1 through 8, hallelujah, amen. oh, I feel that on tonight, I will see a victory, amen, in the name of Jesus, and you will find these words written in the book of Ecclesiastes, it says, to everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. Oh, yes it is. A time to weep and a time to laugh. There is a time to mourn and there is a time to dance. Ha. A time to cast away stones yes. and a time to gather stones together. Yes. There is a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Somebody say social distancing, physical <laughs> distancing. Yes. Amen. I want you to know on tonight, amen, there is a time and there is a purpose for everything that's going on in our lives right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. It says there is a time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. And there is a time to keep silence. And then there is a time to speak. There is a time to love and a time to hate. There is a time for war and then there is a time of peace. Amen. May God bless us as we continually read his word on tonight. Listen, when God began to tell me, amen, to share with you all talking about what time is it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the more I began to read the word of God, amen, God began to say timing is seasonal. Hallelujah. Amen. You might be in a season at this time. Amen. You might be in another season at that time but whatever time you are in on tonight I am here to tell you time 
is of the essence. Mm -hmm. Yes, time is of the essence. But what is essence? Mm -hmm. It is the quality of qualities that make a thing. That is the essence of it. Amen. The intrinsic nature of something or indispensable quality of something. It is the thing that determines its character. Oh, I'm talking about time is of the essence on tonight. Amen. But the question still remains, but what is time? Hallelujah. Amen. And so I like this particular definition. Amen. When I began to, amen, think about time, it says that time is the indefinite continued progress of existence and the events that occur in apparently. It's irreversible secession from the past through the present and to the future. Oh, somebody ought to be happy about that tonight. We're not stuck in one time place. It's a component quantity of various measurements used to sequence events, to compare the duration of events or intervals. This is what time is defined as, hallelujah, amen. They say time is a dimension. Some studies even say that time is the fourth dimension. But whether you agree with that or, or disagree with that argument, amen, I know something for sure we all know, and that is time is of the essence. When I began to think about time, I often think about the clock. Amen. And all the vast intricate parts that are working within it. Amen. The clock parts. You have the rotations of hands directly corresponding with the movement of the wheels. I'm talking about complex on tonight. Amen. And there are three wheels that are moving in a clock. Mm -hmm. You have the center wheel, and then you have the third wheel, and then the best wheel of all of them, it is called the escape wheel. Oh, we're going to deal with the escape wheel on tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. And there's also three hands on a clock. Mm -hmm. You have the hour hand, but oddly enough, the hour hand that holds the longest of the time, it has a short hand on it. Mm, we're going someplace. Hallelujah. And then you have the minute hand. And the minute hand is the opposite of the hour hand because it has the longest hand. And then you also have what they call a second hand. Yes, you have a hand that keeps up with every second of your life. And this is the fastest hand on the clock. Hallelujah. There was a group, amen, in the 80s when I began to think about, amen, time, hallelujah, and clocks, amen, and things moving, amen, intricately, hallelujah. There was a group in the 80s and this group made a successful career by simply asking one question, what time is it? Hallelujah. And, and yes, surprisingly enough, that group was named The Time. Yes, with Morris Day in the name of Jesus. They just asked one question. What time is it? Hallelujah. You got to know what time it is. Hallelujah. Amen. It says in 1 Chronicles 12 and 32, amen, it was a group of men who had a great reputation for knowing and understanding the time. They knew and got it, the people, hallelujah, telling them what time it was, and they told them what they need to do in that time. Yes, these men were called the sons of Issachar. Yes, they knew and understood, amen, what to do in that time. Listen, how many times, amen, have you missed out on something because you did not know what time it was, amen, and maybe you knew what time it was, Mm, but you didn't know what to do in that time. You got to know what time it is and you got to know what to do with the time. Hallelujah. How many of us have said to someone we want to get together with, amen, both of you being productively active, hallelujah, you then say, let's make some time to get together. Yes, yes. But I don't want you to get confused on tonight. Hallelujah. I don't want you to mistake yourself with your wording with he of the creator. Yes, the owner. Hallelujah. Listen, you can't make time. Hallelujah. Only God can do that. Hallelujah. But there is a difference between ownership 
and stewardship. Mm -hmm. Yes, God, he created time. God, he's the only one who can control time, but we can manage our time. Amen. We all should be managing the time that we have been given. Amen. We should be good stewards of our time. Hallelujah. Which brings me to the clock. There are many ways we can keep up with time these days, amen. Many digital devices that I do enjoy, hallelujah, the speed of knowledge on those devices, amen. However, when you begin to understand that there are many working pieces, seen and unseen, moving on your behalf, amen, keeping you in sync and in alignment with the word of God that has already been spoken over your life way before time began. Oh, somebody ought to give God praise on tonight. Yes. Listen, you will learn to appreciate a good watch. You will learn then to appreciate a good clock. Hallelujah. The visible parts of the clock is the face and the three hands. But there are some parts, invisible parts, amen, that are in motion working on your behalf. Oh, I love God on tonight. Amen. It says in Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 and 17, For in him all things were created, things in heaven visible and invisible. I believe that on tonight. Hallelujah. You ought to believe God. Hallelujah. Whether you can see him or not, you got to know, hallelujah, the things that you can see. Amen. It's that that he has allowed to manifest. Amen. But there are constantly things moving. There are constantly things going on in the spirit realm that you can't see. I want you to know on tonight, God is in motion for you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. You just got to believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, I believe the best way to keep up with time, however, is by wearing a watch. Mm -hmm. My father told me never to date a man who don't wear a watch. Hallelujah. And I began to say, Dad, why, 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 why you don't, why can't I date him if he don't wear a watch? That seemed like such an odd thing, amen, to have a judge against a man. Hallelujah. Amen. There's so many other things I thought he would have said. Hallelujah. He said, but a man who doesn't wear a watch doesn't value time. And if a man doesn't value time, he'll waste yours. Amen. And so he said, don't even date nobody who don't wear a watch. Amen. And I, I know, I know some of you millennials might say, well, woman of God, you know, that's a little old school. That's a little old fashioned for me. Amen. And I understand that because all of this was pre-cell phone days. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, of course, I still like to see a man with a quality watch on. Hallelujah. Amen. But I I do extend grace on tonight to the new generation of men. So I will say unto you tonight, please charge your phone. Hallelujah. Ah! Keep the phone charged on yes, tonight yes, so you God. can know what time it is. Hallelujah. Oh, just like a clock. Amen. A watch is made out of intricate parts and have complex movement. Additional to the clock, though, a watch, it has a part that's called a stem mm -hmm. and the stem is attached to a part called the crown not she bought. amen and the way that you amen check and move your time you got to touch the crown of the watch ah. the only way to wind up your time you got to touch the crown of the watch in a shape Amen. Somebody ought to say glory, glory. to the king on tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. glory. Every time I touch the crown, amen, I know that God, amen, is in my timing. Yes. Amen. God is working the time out just for you on tonight. But instead of just three hands that you find on a clock, mm -hmm. amen, there are four hands on most quality watches, yes, amen, this fourth hand runs independently of all of the other hands, yes, it measures time in 24 hour periods, yes, the fourth hand measures the whole day, and one thing I like about that fourth hand, amen, it measures other time zones, yes, it keeps you in time with the whole day, amen, and it's able to measure time 
zones because it's independently working outside of the other three hands on. I'm dare to declare on tonight, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah. And I came to rejoice and to be glad in it. Amen. I don't know about you on tonight. Amen. But I know that is God operating that fourth hand. Oh, yes, he is. He's designing your time outside of your time zone. Amen. He is the fourth hand. Hallelujah. Your time has been determined in eternity. Amen. So whatever you do with your time, that's on you. Amen. But time has been given. Amen. When I think about the fourth hand, I began to think about the fourth man that showed up for the three Hebrew boys. Hallelujah. Amen. They did not see him at first. Hallelujah. God could have came in at the nick of time and stopped everything. But God decided to let time keep moving on their behalf. God allowed them to be thrown in the fiery pit. Hallelujah. The fiery furnace. And that's where some of you find yourself in 2020. You found yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. In a fiery furnace. Hallelujah. What I'm going to do about this? What am I going to do about that? Where is God? Hallelujah. But God allowed them to get deep into the fire. And then the fourth man showed up. I want you to know on tonight, that fourth hand is moving. Hallelujah. On your behalf. Although you can't see it moving. Amen. God is taking it day by day. Hallelujah. You can keep up with the hours. And you can keep up with the minutes. And you can keep up with the seconds. But God got every day in control. He is the fourth hand. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm here to tell you on tonight, both a Timex and a Rolex can measure time. Yes. They both have the same purpose, yes. but they have very different individual working parts. Yes, good work. It's not just the purpose of the instrument, but it is the quality of the instrument. It is not the man that makes the watch. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's not just the watch that makes the man. Hallelujah. But I want you to know it's all about the man who understands his watch. Yes, you must know what watch you on. And you have to know what you're watching out for. Yes. Oh, you must be a watchman on the wall tonight. Why? Because time is of the essence. Listen, yes. the Bible tells us we ought to watch and pray. We ought to pray without ceasing. Amen. It's time, hallelujah, that you must open your eyes and open your mouth as we exit 2020 in life. Hallelujah. The year of vision and the year of the open wide mouth. Amen. We must understand that time is of the essence. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Time is of the essence. Amen. Time has been given to us in portions. And this is called chronos. Yes, it's measured out in 24-hour cycles, which equals to a day. Mm -hmm. Time is measured out so that you can have the time. Amen. To divide up how you need to utilize your time. Amen. Time was always Hallelujah. And will be. Hallelujah. Always will it obey God. Mm -hmm. Time always obey God. And only he can control it. He can redeem it. He will restore it. Hallelujah. And he can hold it up. Yes, you know, just like he did with Joshua. God held up the sun. Hallelujah. For hours, the Bible said, for a day. Amen. While Joshua was down there in the battle fighting. Amen. Joshua was like, God, honey, I can do my part, but I need the sun to hold up. Amen. The Bible says that Joshua commanded that sun to hold still in one area. And then he commanded the moon to hold still in another area. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have faith in the name of Jesus, you can talk to what you need to talk to. And you can tell them it's not time yet. Amen. How many times have I went to the hospitals? Hallelujah. And they said this person was about to die. Hallelujah. But God gave me a word. And God said not yet. Hallelujah. It's not your time. Amen. Death stands still in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, you got to have that anointing. You got to have the confidence. You got to have the boldness. Yeah. Hallelujah. To stand before whatever it is. Amen. While I'm in a battle, I need everything else to be quiet. I need everything else to stand still because I got the focus on 
my victory. Oh, I'm going to see victory on tonight. Hallelujah. I want you to know, hallelujah, time is of the essence. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And it begins to say that God is blessing you right now. Hallelujah. Yes, that's what God told me to get out to you tonight. That no matter what time it is, God is blessing you right now. It's just a matter of time. That's all. Hallelujah. But God is blessing you right now. Your blessing has already been released. But it had to travel down through dimensions. Hallelujah. And you got to understand. Amen. As it travels down through dimensions, you are maturing. You are getting in place. Amen. So you can receive the blessing. Amen. Just like the quarterback. Hallelujah. Amen. And the running back. Hallelujah. How they are in alignment. Amen. And while the quarterback releases the ball in the air. Hallelujah. It's going through through, hallelujah, space and time, amen, so that it can get to the running back, so he can land it with a touchdown, oh somebody ought to decree on tonight, oh yes I will see victory, why, because now is my time, time is of the essence on tonight, listen, I want you to know, every time you pray, and as your prayers go up before the Lord, it's like the gears and the watch. Hallelujah. Your prayers are releasing the escape wheel. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you pray, amen, the, your prayers, they're releasing, amen, the third wheel for your behalf. And right in the center of everything is Jesus. So while you are praying, hallelujah, it's releasing the center wheel, if you will. Hallelujah. The Bible says he is the wheel and the middle of the wheel. I want you to know tonight, time is of the essence. Hallelujah. Amen. Not only is time of the essence, but time is emotional. Yes, yes it is. I'm here to tell you tonight that time is sensitive. Oh yes it is. Hallelujah. Amen. I began to think about time is sensitive. Amen. God said you got to, amen, remind them that it's time to move and they got to move quickly with this thing. You don't have time to keep the land. Hallelujah. You got to put an urgency on this. This message is time sensitive. Amen. And when I began to think about time sensitive now, amen, I have a brother, amen, named Tony. Amen. He works at the post office. So I began to inquire of him, what is the special procedure that goes on when you all get sensitive mail? How does that work? Amen. Who decides that it's sensitive? Amen. And he began to explain to me. He said, well, the company stamps its own mail as time sensitive. And then it comes to the post office and we sort it. And I said, well, do you do you just sort it or does it get a special compartment? Like, is there a special department for time sensitive mail? And then he began to tell me something that blew my mind. Hallelujah. He said, no. He said, when mail comes marked time sensitive, it gets treated and handled like all the other mail. I said, well, then what's the point of it being time sensitive? He said, time sensitive, if they're not talking to us as the postman. They're not talking to the deliverer. They are talking to the person My who's going to receive the mail. Yes, he said, the time sensitive part is not for the deliverer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, that what God is giving you is time sensitive. I say, oh my God, hallelujah. So now I know, amen, when the message comes down from heaven, hallelujah, as God gave it to me, it has been marked in heaven as time sensitive. Amen. God is going to use me in time to deliver the word, but it's up to you to move out on the word. Amen. Because your time is time sensitive. Yes, I want you to know, hallelujah, this message is marked time sensitive. And this is called an appointed time. Mm -hmm. This is called Kairos. Hallelujah. And Kairos is an appointed time 
in space of time that is found in Kronos. Yes, it is. Amen. And I want you to know in this special time, God has a time, amen, for your healing to take place. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Your healing is time sensitive. Your breakthrough is time sensitive. The pain that you are in, it is time sensitive. Listen, God has a time that he's going to bring you out. God has a time, yes. amen, that is set aside for you to come through. I want you to know on tonight, time is sensitive. Amen. And I don't know about you all, but on this year, many of us have experienced sorrow. Oh my God. Amen. Sorrow after sorrow. In the name of Jesus, we have lost so many people along the way. Hallelujah. But for those of you who are in pain on tonight, for those of you who are experiencing sorrow, I want you to know your pain has a time limit. Mm. Yes, my God. Your sorrow is time I'm sensitive. Yes. God said, I have yes. scheduled you time for joy. Yes, there is time to come out up out of where you are. Oh, now is the time, says the Lord. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. For those of you who have broken hearts, amen, there is a time for your heart to be mended. Amen. I want you to know, hallelujah, whatever you're going through, however you can see it, amen, in this last moment of this year, still being the year of what they call vision, the vision has been given an appointed time. Yes, this time is called the Modium. Ha. Yes, Sheba. Oh God, hallelujah. The Modium is your appointed time with God. Yes, and you can't miss this appointment. Amen. Your blessings is marked time sensitive. So you have to be sensitive to the time. God has appointed a time of release. Oh, you ought to lift your hands on tonight. Amen. And say, God, I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Habakkuk, hallelujah. Yes. Two verses one through three says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will see what he will say unto me. Listen, are you watching? Amen. Are you listening tonight? Amen. Are you listening for what God is saying to you? Hallelujah. It says, but for the vision is yet for an appointed, yeah. a future time. Oh my. But in the yeah. end, it shall speak yeah. and not lie. Yeah. Throw and wait. Mm -hmm. You got to wait on it. Ah, yeah. uh, there's the King James Version said, though it tarries, hallelujah, wait for it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Oh, you got to wait. Why? Because God has a time to bless you. Amen. Yeah. You don't want to go ahead of God. Amen. But I'm here to assure you on tonight. All systems are a go. Yeah. Amen. Because the vision has been given an appointed time. Yes. yes. This is called the modium. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. That is your appointed time with God. Yes. Your blessings are marked time sensitive. It has an appointed time of release. Amen. You'll find these words written in Habakkuk. Amen. Chapter 2 verses 1 through 3. It says, I will stand upon my watch. The Bible says it this way, that all things work together for my good. telling you what's about to take place in the earth for you is about to be big. If God said that it is so, then it is. Hallelujah. Listen, stand strong in the Lord. This is the time not to give up. That's the right. Bible declares, he told Joshua, he said, be courageous. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Vicky Wines, and you're watching Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching 
the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stanis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching Bell Global Network.